there I am, you see. I look happy and well. But that uh, doesn't really tell you the truth of the situation, does it? Oh well. I don't know what happiness is, really. I suppose I am content, but not happy. <laughs> you should have seen me yesterday, though. Well, I don't know, smell a vision. I'm like a bloody barbecue kipper. That's, uh,. I'm a lot luckier than some people, that is for sure. I'm alive. I hope that I haven't suffered any long term damage from the smoke. I just don't know that. And. and. well. don't know what to say now. Here we are. This time yesterday, I was standing outside my block of flats, smelling like a kipper. Fire, you see. You just don't know what it's like until it happens to you. Nothing but the clothes I had on. But, fortunately, about an hour or so later, after the fire brigade had rescued me from the situation, was allowed to go back and recover a few vital things. Not very much, but the most important thing to me, which is my laptop computer and my wallet, so at least I had money, cash, you know. Um, so here I am in a hotel room. Yet another hotel room. I'm always in hotel rooms, but this is not a hotel room I want to be in. It's uh, social services putting me up for the night. And I don't know what happens tomorrow. It's terra incognita, isn't it, you see? The unknown land, it's always the unknown land, and uh, this unknown land, I mean, this is the worst thing that's happened to me since uh, 11 years ago when my mum died, when all my world was turned upside down, and I was given a month to move all my stuff out, uh, which I did, and uh, moved it into the flat, which, well, you know, I can't think now that I'll ever go and live in that flat again. It's not my flat that's the problem, it's what's happened downstairs, you know, and the state of everything else and the safety of the building. But yesterday, well, you think, in retrospect, what you should have done, you should have had a grab bag, you know, important stuff, documents, insurance documents, that sort of thing, bank um, accounts, uh, proof of everything you're going to need for your identity and all that stuff. But you don't think of that. Uh, the only thing you think of is uh, survival, isn't it? And for a very small period of time, I sort of thought, you know, this is maybe what they felt like um, at the top of the World Trade Center, 9-11. Um, all the smoke pouring in, because that's what it was. You know, my flat, I smelt smoke. I went out to see what it was all about. Open my front door, just a vast amount of smoke, no chance, just no way of going down through that. I didn't know what was going on down below. You know, there was a fire somewhere, that was for certain. How bad, I don't know. Where it was, I don't know. But I just could not go down my staircase. And so, you know, I tried to blockade my door, called the fire brigade, but eventually I was driven further and further out. I had to go out into my balcony, and that was it. I just had to stand there and, like, you know, breathe fresh air. The only fresh air going. So the smoke was filling everything, and, you know, I'd choke if I was uh, to go back anywhere else. And I just had to wait for the fire brigade, you know. They could have taken me off by a ladder. At least there was that much, you know. They rescued me. They took me down um, the hall. <laughs> But uh, it was weird, the way they come in. It was like like a movie, you know, like Backdraft or something like that. Um, totally strange and unreal when you see it happening to you. Well, these dramatic events are unreal. and Like, you're glad to be out of it. 
you're glad to be out of it. But what happens next, I don't know. I just don't know. It's I don't know. I had to go out today and buy a whole new set of clothes. Well, thank goodness for credit cards and all of that. Um, it was actually, in some ways, it was harder for me um, when my mum died because I got fewer friends. I was, you know, much more on my own and you know, less communication. And I got all the communication now, mobile phones, <laughs> stuff like that. And you know, there are people out there who are going to help me. I've got friends. It's wonderful having friends. Uh, situations I didn't have back then. So, <laughs> I'll put this footage in. It's not the best, is it? Not the best. You know. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. But I, being a pessimist I am, I have to prepare for the worst, don't I? Uh, but work goes on, life goes on. I have things to do, important things to do. And nothing's going to stop me doing that. Can't, can it? I just must not. I just must not. <laughs>